Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn all about audio editing inside Final Cut Pro. Whether you're trying to edit audio for a voiceover, sound effect, or music, there are a number of tools in Final Cut Pro to help you. We do want to be clear, we won't be going over a specific example clip or the process to really dial in one piece of audio. Instead, we'll be going through some of the essential tools in Final Cut Pro that you can use to enhance your audio. First, and most obvious, are the audio meters that give you a preview of the volume at which your audio is being played back at. You can find a minimized version of the audio meters just above your timeline, which is also animated to show you the decibel levels as you play through your clip. To enlarge, simply click to open up the more detailed audio meters on the right side of the timeline. As we play through the audio again, a good place to keep your audio is between minus 12 decibels and minus 6 decibels. So if you find your audio is above or below those points, you should consider increasing or decreasing your audio levels. That then brings us onto the Audio Inspector panel, which you can access by selecting your audio clip and selecting the audio icon in the top right. In here, you can make several adjustments, but the most commonly used is the audio slider. To adjust the volume for the selected clip, simply drag the slider to the left or to the right to decrease or increase your volume. You can also adjust volume levels by hovering over the audio on your timeline and dragging up or down. A quick tip is that if you want to make micro adjustments, hold down Command to move in single increments. While we're on the timeline, you may have noticed the audio is showing at the bottom of the timeline. Any audio you add to the timeline in Final Cut Pro will either sit on the main timeline track or below. Final Cut Pro also has a number of built-in audio effects that you can access in the effects browser, and these effects can be applied with a simple drag and drop onto the audio clip. You can also access the effects browser with keyboard shortcut Command 5. Once the effect has been applied, you can view or edit the effect by going back up to the audio inspector. In addition to adjusting the volume and any effects added, you can also enhance audio by using a built-in preset or by opening the advanced equalizer UI to further customize the audio clip selected. This tool helps you have control over different frequency ranges of your audio, which for example, can help you isolate and enhance or pull back the deep bass from a voiceover. In closing the advanced equalizer UI and going back to the audio inspector, you can see that you can pan audio by using another built-in preset. Panning audio is basically the ability to direct where your audio sounds like it's coming from in 3D space. And the most obvious example is making audio sound like it's coming from the left side to the right side. If all of these audio enhancements seem a little overwhelming, you may want to try out the Audio Enhancements tool that automatically analyzes and enhances your audio. While Final Cut Pro will do its best job, it's not always perfect. We can see that our audio right now is sitting very hot or loud, which can be seen by the yellow and red in our audio readout on our timeline and the audio inspector. This is a helpful tool to watch out for as it can indicate your audio is too loud when these colors are indicated as yellow or red. So we suggest checking your audio after application and using your best judgment. One of my favorite features to Final Cut Pro is that you can create simple audio fades by setting keyframe points or even by using the fade toggles available at the start and end of any clip with audio, which can be great for fading audio from music into voiceover. And there you have it. You've just learned how to edit audio inside Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you found this video on editing audio inside Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all of our awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.